in the column where the number of data comes the number times parentheses and this was data that for some reason was taken out and I'll come back to that. <coughs> so we see we use both uh, solid liquid equilibrium data, vapor liquid equilibrium data and liquid liquid equilibrium data. For, for liquid liquid equilibrium there was uh, exactly 15 uh, data points for each of the three short sodium chloride, potassium chloride, and sodium chloride. <coughs> That's a pure coincidence. For, for uh, potassium sulfate, there's no liquid liquid equilibrium in this system. And then for heater solution, uh, we had a lot of data. This is heater solution of sodium chloride and potassium chloride in acetone water systems. And then also data for excessive so first I, I tell a little bit about some problems with the model because after we have modeled it, then the, the uh, base diagram, the, the PX uh, Y diagram for a pure acetone water system without salt could not be described uh, precisely by the model. You can see in the, the, in, in, in bonus point way too low. And also there's problems with the freezing point uh, calculation over there at the right side. And you can also see there are two series of the freezing point data, not a type of point, but anyway, there's a series here, the black ones and the red ones, they are freezing point data, which are not in agreement at all. So this is a problem with this uh, system here, that many of the data are, are quite uh, strange or, or, or not in agreement. The, the red data and the black data, both those who have uh, investigated, they claim that this is the freezing point and it is the melting point. But then in, a, in another study where they did the dielectric relaxation spectroscopy, uh, they actually claim that the temperatures and composition corresponding to the red ones are freezing points and, and, uh, and that could be melting points that correspond to the black ones here. And, and that actually is not freezing, it's not pure ice that is freezing but actually it is a hydrate at the total with the 17 water molecules. So uh, that is something that complicates the system that uh, basic uh, data like freezing points are not uh, in manifold. You, you cannot be sure about what it means. Another problem also is the models use the liquid, liquid, liquid equilibrium in uh, potassium chloride uh, water at the corner system. In, this is a triangular diagram where we have a, a potassium chloride at the top apex, which is not shown, and then water in the left side and at the corner in the right side. I will use a similar base diagram for. Uh, I will use a similar base diagram for all the other systems. There should not be liquid liquid equilibrium at 30 degrees. Start at the uh, at 32 actually, but the model gives it at 31 and, and uh, almost down to, to 20 degrees. According to this Snell from 1898, 32 <coughs> degrees should be the limit where uh, liquid liquid equilibrium starts for potassium chloride. All the experimental data was shown here, they are solid liquid equilibrium systems. <coughs> the object function I use for uh, Modeling it is, a, it is based on the deviation from the, <coughs> of the different types of data. We weighted them in a, in a way so that all each type of data were well represented by the model. And we minimize the object function by the Markov distribution. Then uh, here is another example of data that are contradictory. We have some data from uh, Christian Hoke, Christian Hoke, from 1972. This is for sodium sulfate uh, as a total water system. And, and Christian Hoke thought that uh, the transition between lava salt and, uh, and anhydrous sodium sulfate was here at 35% as a total, while Edmond Sedal, they claimed it was at 88% as a total. And uh, as the modeling went on, the modeling, the first uh, the model said it was here in the middle of something, but uh, as the parameters became better and better, the modeling was very close to Emerson's 
So therefore, we decided that it must be correct that uh, the transition between cloud or a stolen function is over here, and then we changed the phase of these red transition uh, data. We decided that they were actually global sources and not uh, stolen sources to solve and hybrids. But in this way, there are many contradictory data in this system that makes it very difficult to model, and therefore it has not been modeled often. You can see also here that our data, this is for production solitates at 20 degrees, and uh, there's a series of data here, the red data here are completely different from those three series of data down here. Of course, there are some scattering of these data, so it's clear that these red ones are completely, they are, they are outliers, they, they are not being correct. And then uh, there's just a, a series from, uh, from the same source there, and, uh, and uh, several different temperatures, so, so it's a problem for several temperatures. Then here is, uh, this is for sodium chloride, we have sodium chloride at the top. We have sodium chloride at the top of this uh, triangle. And, um, and then the data here, uh, the model actually shows the different degrees different. Like there are three sources the, the blue and the black and the red uh, highlights here, they are from different sources showing different degrees different. The model also gives different different equilibrium, but in a slightly larger area than uh, the experimental <coughs> data gives. But uh, here also you can see that the data are very scattered. This is solid liquid equilibrium data that are very scattered. And then you see that uh, there is a series of data over here. This is actually solid liquid equilibrium data. Some people have been measuring solid liquid equilibrium in this system not discovering that there was actually a liquid liquid equilibrium. And if you notice, then this is actually the newest data series. This is from 2007 and from 1985. And they did not know about previous data. They did, they did not see the papers about liquid liquid equilibrium in this system. And they did not discover in their own experiments that they were in the liquid liquid equilibrium region. So of course, when you have this kind of conflicting <coughs> data, it makes it much more difficult also to model. But these data are down here, they are among those that have taken out and, and uh, written in a parenthesis there on the slide I have with uh, all the data we use. Here is to show this is solar floor at 50 degrees C and, and there's only we have one experimental highline there, and uh, you can see that uh, the model gives a, a liquid liquid area that corresponds somehow a little larger than the experimental one because we only have one timeline there. But uh, it describes it reasonably well. Then here's the showdown sulfate system at uh, 35 degrees. And uh, in this uh, at this uh, temperature in this system, the the liquid liquid equilibrium uh, with the best lines calculated with the 10 degree platform is very similar to the experimental data from uh, Lindedel. Lindedel, this is, uh, this is a paper from Carlson uh, School, Carlson School, <coughs> four water school, Carlson School, school. And uh, these data are very much in agreement with the model here. And here's uh, the data graph of progression forward at 20 degrees C. This is uh, all solid liquid equilibrium data. And uh, the curve is a little bit funny going down below here. Yeah, and and uh, this was the system where the, there should only be liquid liquid equilibrium at temperatures about, about 32, or actually, according to the model, start already at 22 liquid liquid equilibrium. But no liquid liquid equilibrium at 20 degrees. And this is good because. According to experimental data, it's only solid liquid equilibrium. And then for vapor liquid equilibrium, there are several sources of data for vapor uh, uh, liquid equilibrium and the salt effect on it. And uh, there are uh, these data here, I have uh, only partly uh, 
that calculates the black line they can be uniform because it's because here we have a liquid liquid region and these people who were measuring uh, when the liquid equilibrium they did not notice that their system is divided into two liquid phases so they published this data here as uh, a paper liquid equilibrium but actually they did it a liquid liquid equilibrium region and over here uh, something of presentation of uh, potassium chloride this here is a system the one mole facially per uh, hundred mole volume, and they use those four compositions here. And uh, so only at one five mole facially, it was a pure vapor liquid equilibrium system. So at the three other concentrations, most of the data were actually liquid liquid equilibrium. So so that was not a problem that you uh, you think they are vapor liquid equilibrium. I only discovered this last week when I was making the presentation. So these data were actually included as vapor liquid equilibrium in the in the parameter estimation, and I might be able to improve the results by by taking them out. Uh, if I compare with uh, some data by Owen, who made this book on the salt effects uh, on the vapor liquid equilibrium in the big solvent, then uh, he calculated by his uh, preferential excavation method and for the 0.5 mole facial and 100 mole solvent this is the one where it's all D and E then you got an error of average error of 0 0.021 and you get one of 0 0.030 so this is quite good and yeah, down there I just mentioned that here yeah, facial is exactly precisely and uh, I calculated the chalk effect of vapor liquid equilibrium with K2SO4. K2SO4 is the owner of these salts that don't cause liquid liquid equilibrium. And we can see that the salt effect is mostly over here at the very low as a total concentration. And there, of course, you, the black line, this is the system. And this is a quite uh, close, uh, quite close to the experimental data. This is from 5 degrees up to 60 degrees. Sodium chloride and solubility. So, uh, so there are some scattering, but the, the, the tendency I think is, is quite good. And uh, so, in conclusion, I just said that uh, we have a model of the system here using these eight parameters. So, it's a very simple model, only requiring eight parameters. And uh, we, we did not make a, a perfect uh, model, but uh, we get the correct tendencies in the system. And uh, the data to this system, there are many conflicts in data. And uh, so, so you need to be very much aware of what data you're using because uh, many data are in conflict with each other. And also, uh, the problem with the precision transmission is, uh, is another point that, uh, that could be, uh, that makes it difficult to model. So that was actually my, uh, my last word. Thank you.